Greetings, welcome to the Asana Kitchen. I'm David Garig. And I'm here with guest student and teacher Shelly Enlow. Thank you for joining me, Shelly. And uh, today we're looking at the second pose in the third series. It's a kind of controversy of what it's named. So the I call it Vishvamitra Asana, whereas the first posture of the third series is called Vashishta, Vashistasana. But uh, that gets reversed often. It's reflective of an age-old battle between two great sages, uh, Vashishta on one hand and Vishvamitra. And um, so it's funny, it continues in modern day when most people don't even know the, the stories of the two and they're reversing it. All right, so Shelley, let's see your pose. Okay, so notice how she puts her foot on the ground and is slotting that um, arm higher up the leg manually. So that's a good thing to do. And there it is. It's a beautiful skeletal lines. And then look at her exit. What she just did is hard to do, people. Okay, so if you're wondering about like the rotation of the front leg, it's just like triangle. So you're externally rotating to a certain point and then bracing the leg. So one of the things you're doing is you're trying to get your leg as high up the arm as possible. Start with it bent and then with a kind of kicking move, straighten it. Yeah, and, and do it again. And try to make that a confident move. So it's requiring some um, balance. Okay, and so now lift your um, hip a little bit and make your thigh go um, back. Yes. Okay, this people you're trying to avoid. Okay, so in, that, in this posture, you want to drive that front thigh forward uh, and there's a limit to that, but, um, but you definitely don't want it going back. So when you do plank or chaturanga or side plank, it becomes easier if you keep inclining your body higher. Okay, so you can apply that um, method of giving yourself an advantage if you want to like explore a posture and stay longer and get some ease. Okay, so first start with that bent knee position. See, because that straightening the leg is very challenging. So if you, add, if you just subtract that out of the equation, you can stamp your back leg and brace the back thigh and feel the, uh, the torso nice and long. Okay, then take the arm up to vertical and work that um, kicking gesture. Nice, yeah. And th my main um, note to Shelly in terms of improving her pose was what I said about that driving the front thigh forward and feeling the the, the top leg uh, really reaching away from the hip to the toe, rather than the opposite. See, uh, it, what will tend to happen is the, back, the, back, the front thigh will go back and the hip will lift. To me, there's, there's actually two distinctly different strategies when you're coming into it. So one is to kind of build the whole posture and then the last thing you do is kick that leg straight. Okay, so there she is in the beautiful position. And okay, now finish it with the last touch and swing the legs. <laughs> so that one she's not used to. Okay, so you can practice it or, and it's an interesting experiment. Okay, but now just do it the way you do it. Just come into your pose, Shelly, and let me, let me see. Yeah. Okay, and so the way that I would work on that, when you do go to straighten the front leg, just do it with a more of a flourish. Remember, so I've given you two ways to make it easier, people. One is put your hand on a block, um, and two is keep the leg bent. Okay, number three, one more I'll give you, which is to um, put the front foot, foot toes at the wall 
And you, and you can do that with or without a block. Ah, there it is. Beautiful. Okay, so this really gives you some ability. Now look down the, your body, kind of scan your situation, Shelley, and see, you can, you can win enough um, ease to uh, define your skeletal lines. So lengthen the back leg and root it. Reach up through the top arm. Ground the bottom arm and lengthen that arm. And then finally lengthen the, the, that right leg. Yeah, super. The, one thing I want to show you actually with um, Shelly in this, from this view, the side plane of the body, right? So it's if you imagine a, like a pane of glass cutting through the body and giving you a front and a back half. Make the arms go down and up in the side plane, Shelly. Yeah, and then go in front of the side plane. Yeah, and a little bit behind. So what you're doing in the standing poses, and this one included, is you're trying to line up your whole body in the side plane to the best of your ability. And when you use the side plane as your guide, then it helps you to define those skeletal lines in this pose. Right, so you're, so look at the back leg, the, so the, the ankle, the knee, the hip, and then the, through the torso and even the top, move the top arm behind the side plane, um, Shelly. Yeah, so you don't want this, or move it forward. Yeah, and to the best of your ability, the hard thing is to get that front leg in the side plane, and she has it, okay? So there are some ideas for you for um, working in the state of the asana. Thank you for joining me for this installment of the asana kitchen. So if you want to look at the exit to this pose, I have another video on that. Thank you for joining me, Shelly. And uh, remember to subscribe to my channel.